I want to invite you to join me here in one of the most exciting places where you can be in a rainy fall day like today. We're here at a creek and when you look you will see there's a lot happening here. There's a flurry of activity. There's, this river is packed with salmon and this is the most intriguing theater drama that's repeating itself every year, year after year. This big fish here, uh, it's chum salmon. They have been hatching here three, four years ago. Went on a huge journey downstream, down the river, into the ocean, or in the North Pacific. And at a certain point, they turn around and they start to come home. Upstream, upriver past bears and waterfalls and eagles until they reach here a creek like this and where all this uh, where they meet and where they spawn. When they have spawned then the Pacific salmon then they die off slowly. A cycle is completed then there's a time of quiet and then a new cycle starts when the new fish hatch. I'm always excited to see that and I think the salmon are so awesome and what they teach us is they teach us about completing things that we, that we started. Probably know from your desk at home that there's certain things piling up, at least my desk it does that. At a certain point you got to take care of it and complete the things. Let me give you two examples. One example, for example, relationships. We all love to start relationships. There's a huge energy going when we begin to get to know somebody. We might even fall in love, yeah, and activity and energy, and we feel great, yeah? Now, at some point, life is transient and everything ends at some point. At some point, this relationship is gonna end and it's gonna we might outgrow it, maybe one partner turns away, or whatever, it's going to happen. We need to give the endings the same attention, the same love, the same diligence that we give to the beginning. And when you look at them, they put on their best clothes. They are more colorful than they have ever been in their whole life. So the salmon, they really show us how to make an ending a huge celebration of life. Something else that I always think of when I ponder about the salmon, when I stand here by this creek and uh, or by the river and think about what are you telling me? One thing was about the cycle of trauma. When we get sick very often there's somewhere a trauma happening uh, that happened in the past then we try to not feel it because it's painful we run away it's like here going downstream yeah? going away as fast and as far as possible then we live our life at some point we start limping we might get sick and then we have to remember oh what's happening here at some point we might remember Wow, there happened something long ago that I could not complete, that I was not able to deal with, to integrate back then. And then the healing journey starts. You go upstream against what fear would tell you, because fear tells you, don't go there. It's scary and it's painful. But here the salmon, they know it's exactly there where the solution is. So we need to go upstream use our fear as a guidance to go right into it and go right upstream this fear until we touch the place where it all started. And then something happens. We are able to complete something to integrate the original pain that we were not able to deal with years ago. And then a cycle is completed and we can turn around and live into a joyful, great future that is not created from past pattern, but that we create from inspiration and from our passion for life. So when you're struggling with something, remember the salmon. They have a deep sense of where they want to go. They go home.
we all need to go home. We all need once in a while to touch the places where things started in order to move on. Not to stay there, but in order to move on. You see, there's a lot of them. That means we also don't have to do it alone. Yeah? When I'm in trouble, I can reach out to a friend, to a relative, or to another professional and ask for help. We don't get hurt alone and we don't heal alone. So whenever we're struggling, also remember the salmon. They do it together. This journey is we got to do together. And a healing journey is one of those journeys you really want to do together with other people and together with somebody. Enjoy the salmon. Spend time with the salmon. Spend time in nature. Recharge yourself and get inspiration from them. And when you're in trouble, maybe you think of homeopathy or something else that inspires you and where you know in your heart it's going to help you. And then go for it. Thank you so much for your attention.